on the Healthline Nevis News and Reviews Roundup, brought to you courtesy of the Health Promotion Unit in association with Evelyn's Drugstore. Hello and welcome to this week's edition of On the Healthline News Reviews and Updates. I'm Sheila James. In this week's edition, World Obesity Day and Women in Entrepreneur Boot Camp. We'll have more on these stories after this short break. Reduce your risk of being infected with the new coronavirus, COVID-19, by frequently washing hands with soap and clean running water or use a hand rub with 62 to 95% ethyl alcohol. When coughing and sneezing, cover mouth and nose with flexed elbow or tissue. Throw tissue away immediately and wash hands. Avoid close contact with anyone that has fever and cough. Keep your workplaces clean and hygienic, example, surfaces should be wiped with disinfectant regularly. Advise those who are sick to stay home. Stay updated by following the Health Promotion Unit on Facebook and Instagram or contact us at 469-8010. Welcome back. World Obesity Day is now being observed on the 4th of March globally. World Obesity Day encourages practical solutions to help people achieve and maintain a healthy weight, undertake proper treatment and reverse the obesity crisis. Obesity rates have nearly tripled since 1975 and have increased almost five times in children and adolescents, affecting people of all ages from all social groups in both developed and developing countries. Obesity is a major risk factor for various non-communicable diseases such as type 2 diabetes, cardiovascular disease, hypertension and stroke, and various forms of cancer. People with obesity are constantly shamed and blamed because many, including doctors, policymakers, and others do not fully understand the root causes of obesity, which are often complex mixture of dietary, lifestyle, genetic, psychological, sociocultural, economic, and environmental factors. It is time we break the cycle of shame and blame and reevaluate our approach for addressing this complex global public health problem. Public Health in Nevis have begun the process in holding consultations with the general public to discuss ways of introducing sugar tax and restriction of marketing of children of foods, drinks high in fats, sugar and salt. The Health Promotion Unit My Healthy Plate programme is an example of promoting healthier food education taught to all primary schools in Nevis. Currently we are working with restaurants to encourage salt reduction in food preparation. Teaching healthier food habits and encouraging recreation in our young children is another way forward in the fight against obesity. Junior Minister responsible for Gender Affairs, Honourable Hazel Brandy Williams, spoke to the women of Nevis, urging them to participate in the Women in Entrepreneurship Boot Camp. We join Honourable Hazel Brandy Williams on this report. The Ministry of Health and Gender Affairs will be hosting a Women in Entrepreneurship Boot Camp. This will be a four-week training session for women who are desirous of owning their own businesses. Today mark the rolling out of this very important training initiative. And so you can collect your forms at the Ministry of Health and Gender Affairs, Old Administration Building, Main Street, Charlestown, or at the Gender Affairs Division on Government Road. There are limited spaces, and so we are encouraging all women who are desirous, who have a novel idea as to a business proposal, get your application forms um, early. The deadline date is March 20th, so all applications must be in by that date. And then we are hoping to start the training in April. So once again, we are encouraging as many women as possible to apply for a space in this very important training boot camp. After the break, On the Healthline meets new resident doctors from Cuba. We'll have more on this feature after this short break. Can you ride one of these? Then you might want to take part in this. The National Weight Loss Program in association with SKM Moves, the Nevis chapter, is hosting its second event, the Bike Relay, on Sunday, the 22nd of March, 2020. Registration now open. Come and sign up at the Health Promotion Unit upstairs office in the Ricardo Keynes building. 
$20 EC registration fee. Deadline registration, 17th of March 2020. Full details will be given on day of registration. For further information, contact Sheila James on 469-8010 or 469-5521 extension 6393. It's going to be a fabulous bike relay. Welcome back. In our special feature today, we're here at the Alexandra Hospital in Nevis, and today we're going to interview two new doctors out of Cuba to talk to us about their experiences of being doctors in Cuba and how it relates to Nevis. Special thank you for all of you joining us today on, on the Healthline News Reviews and Updates. Today's a special feature on our programme, and I want to say a special warm welcome to Dr. Maria Torres Corrales, who's an anesthesiologist here at the hospital. Dr. Thompson is um, a doctor here, but his role today will be translated if and when we need him to translate. And we also have Dr. Juan Carlos Hernandez, who's an internist. Welcome to the program. So basically, I just want you to introduce yourselves to the general public. So I'll start with you, Dr. Moreira. Can you just introduce yourself, your specialist role here as a doctor? Nieves. Eh, mi nombre es Mireya Torneco Corrales, soy médico, especialista en anestesiología y reanimación, eh, soy cubana. Uh, she said that she is a Cuban that specializes in anesthesiology. And resuscitation. And resuscitation. Okay. And I would ask the same. Yeah. yeah. My name is Dr. Juan Carlos Hernández. I am internist. I'm the doctor in charge of patients who are admitted to the hospital with medical conditions such as uh, hypertension, diabetes, pneumonia, and so on. Okay, so can I ask you to expound on your specific role here at the Alexandra Hospital? Uh, my function here is to give a notice for, for the patient who need the operation and uh, I work uh, in the resuscitation uh, hospital. Is this my job? And how are you finding the role here at Nevis? My role here is give anesthesia for all people uh, that need uh, surgery. Okay. Uh, for obstetric patient, uh, pediatric patient, all patients. All patients, okay. And I would ask the same of you, sir. Okay, uh, like I said before, I'm in charge of patients who are admitted with medical conditions, such as uh, diabetes, hypertension, pneumonia, asthma, and I'm also doing clinics for those patients who need uh, a close follow-up. And we do it on Tuesday for new patients, and then Thursday for follow-up. We're very happy to have you here, and we wish you every success. Thank you very much. You're very Thank welcome. You. In other news, the Ministry of Health and Gender Affairs extends an invitation to women groups to attend the International Women's Day service on Sunday, the 8th of March, 2020, at 10am at the Eden Brown Church of God, Eden Brown St. James's Parish. And finally, the staff at the Health Promotion Unit are encouraging persons at sports meets via announcement to wash hands often and cover their cough and sneeze. Listen out for these preventative tips at the next sports meet you attend. This is in collaboration with the Ministry of Education and the Department of Education. And that concludes this week's edition of On the Healthline News Reviews and Updates. Until the next time, thank you for watching. Goodbye. On the Healthline Nevis News and Reviews Roundup, brought to you courtesy of the Health Promotion Unit in association with Evelyn's Drugstore.